Prince Harry has been criticized for voicing his support for war-torn Ukraine while attending a navel-gazing award ceremony in Hollywood with celebrities, as one royal historian urged more action and few words from the Duke of Sussex. Prince Harry voiced his concern and solidarity for the Ukrainian people when he attended the NAACP awards ceremony in Hollywood last weekend. The Duke of Sussex told the packed room of celebrities that the people in Ukraine urgently need our continued support as a global community. However, royal historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop has said that while Harry is often a force for good, his Ukrainian intervention came across as insensitive and navel-gazing. Dr. Dunlop told Palace Confidential on Mail Plus that Harry and his wife Meghan Markle were a bit behind the curve this week. She said, I genuinely have no issue with the pair, I think they do good work. They have certainly been acknowledged for their work with this award. But I found the whole Hollywood aspect of the event, given what was going on in Ukraine, a bit insensitive. That is not their fault, that is Hollywood in its own kind of love bubble. Host Joe Elvin said, but they could have had a word about it maybe. The royal commentator responded, they could have toned it down a bit because there was Harry in his tux and he went we all stand by Ukraine. I thought I want you to do more in this instance, Harry. Give us something. A lot of people are feeling impotent, and it felt fewer words and more action in this moment I wanted from Harry. There he was slightly navel-gazing, saying he was meant to be with his wife because together they understand injustice and they listen to people who are not listened to. It jarred for me, slightly. Although I think they are generally a force for the good, it felt like they were behind the curve on this. Harry and Meghan were not the only royals to speak up about Ukraine. The upsetting scenes in Ukraine also prompted the Cambridges to express their solidarity, which was thanked by Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall also put the issue at the heart of their work this week, as they visited the Ukrainian Catholic Cathedral in London. Charles said he has been deeply moved by the bravery of Ukrainians faced with terrible aggression from Russia. The Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English said, The Prince of Wales spent the weekend locked in talks with his advisers about how to express the anguish that he like everyone else feels at what he is seeing unfold in Ukraine, but also what he could do to help practically.